And we're getting there. Um, you know, again, I think there's the consistency. You know, we had some moments in that first quarter in particular where I thought we left our paint empty too much, uh, and they capitalized on it. Um, you know, I think our guys have a great understanding of what we're trying to get done. You know, when you're integrating a new guy, you know, there's some things that he's got to figure out and how we do uh, what we do systematically. But, you know, the effort's been pretty consistent. Um, and the guy's understanding of what we're trying to do, I think, is clear. Speaking of integrating a new guy, impressions, initial thoughts from what you saw from him with your squad? I mean, just how well he fit. Um, you know, his ability to create and get to the paint. Um, you know, he, he's a hard one-on-one -on -one guard, uh, and he's a really good pick-and-roll player. I think, you know, we saw some of the plays that he made to his teammates as well. Uh, so I think he's a, you know, he's a complete offensive player that's going to take a lot of pressure off of uh, a lot of our guys. Darius just told me missing piece. That's how, kind of how he just described him. That's what it feels like for him. Is that what it kind of feels like for this group right now? Yeah, I think so. Um, you know, I don't want to put too much pressure on him. Obviously, we want him to just play and be himself and not feel that burden. You know, we've done some pretty good things. Um, you know, we feel like he's a piece that can push us further. Uh, and I think that's what we want him to be is, you know, don't take the entire burden of, uh, you know, that pressure and just be the best version of himself within what we do. And then that makes us more dynamic and it helps us. How aggressive was Evan tonight? I mean, yeah, no, I think he came out with a point to prove. Um, you know, he was definitely aggressive, asserted himself all over the game. Um, you know, it's good to see. Tom. Tom with us, AP. TB, good to see Darius out there, obviously. Um, did he look rusty at all to you? I mean, it looked like the offense picked up right where he left it off. Yeah, I mean, he's, you know, obviously he spent a ton of time, and I know it's, you know, not game situations, but uh, working on his game, you know, even when he wasn't able to do much with his back, you know, the ball handling, the spots, the shooting, all those things uh, to make sure that he could catch his rhythm as best he possibly could. Um, you know, I thought some of the turnovers, um, you know, were plays that were just a little bit off time. Uh, and that's just, you know, him getting back used to playing with his teammates, his teammates getting back used to playing with him. Um, but I thought for the most part he was good. You pulled him when you guys were up 20. Were you hoping to give him the rest of the night off? Uh, I honestly, was just trying to manage his minutes. You know, and I didn't want to, um, you know, leave him out there for too long in that third quarter um, because I knew, you know, what our plan is with his minutes and how we want to make sure we monitor him. Um, so that was more of it than anything. But if we could have extended the league, I, I definitely would have liked to see him. Because the athletic, JB, um, what did you like about the combination of Levert with, like, with Darius and Isaac and um, even then with Rondo and so on? What did you like about just, like, I know it's just one game, but how they play together? Uh, you know, I, I thought it was good. I think what, you know, we're trying different things now, uh, like the combination of uh, Doe, uh, Karras, and Darius. Um, you know, when you got three guys on the floor that can handle and play, make the way that they can. And I know it wasn't a long stint of it. Uh, but we just want to experiment with some of those things uh, and see, you know, what defenses do, how it helps our big, you know, what we can do with our spacing and all those things. Um, you know, so we're going to try some different lineups right now, um, you know, and see what we can figure out what works best. Is that like, I guess, like how much of that process do you like though, being able to see like how you can combine their skill sets and play off one another and sort of find ways to expand your offense maybe? something different than you haven't had now that he's here. Yeah, I mean, anytime you get to put more good players on the floor, uh, it's a good thing. And, you know, those guys can be dynamic. You know, there's different actions and things that we can run with all three of them involved. Um, you know, and so, again, we'll just, you know, experiment with some of those things, um, uh, see what we can do, and then find what works, and then really, uh, you know, exaggerate that. Thank you. Marla. Marla Ragnar, Agar Meek in general. Yeah, do you want to have this experiment done by the all-star break or do you think it might take longer than that to figure uh, this out it's going to take more time than that um you know there's there's not enough minutes um and not enough opponents you know to get a final idea of what it could look like different matchups you know different schemes all those things uh but again the more we get it on film the better off we'll be and when you saw Levert like dribble under the basket and fire that ball to a corner in the corner was that just a snippet of what you thought you were going to i mean is that the real him? Yeah, I mean, that's the, you know, pressure on the paint is him. Uh, and then his ability to play make from there. You know, I think he made, you know, that pass and he made a pass to Jarrett. 
uh, when he got into the paint. I think those are the things uh, where he puts so much pressure on teams' paints. They're going to have to make some tough decisions on how they want to slow him down. Just a quick one. The Coral seems to be continue to be a beyond-the-box score guy. Did you notice that toward in the fourth quarter, maybe? Yeah, I mean, even earlier, uh, there was a you know a possession or a series of possessions where you know he was uh, matched up with Doug McDermott. Um, and, you know, Doug was doing his thing all over the floor, and Isaac was pressuring him, had his body on him, and he couldn't even get a catch. Um, so, you know, when you're able to do things like that, like those are the things that people may not notice, but it completely disrupts an offense.